T minus 60 seconds and counting. We are transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for all the sequence start. And we have a go for auto start. Scart. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 17 seconds and counting. 15, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Go for main engine start. Main engine start. 2, one, booster ignition, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future mids and beyond. Here's the Discovery roll program. Houston now controlling the flight of Discovery. The Space Shuttle begins the journey back into orbit. Discovery completes its roll. The shuttle now heads down wings level for the eight and a half minute line to orbit. This view from a camera on the external tank's liquid oxygen feed line showing the bird's eye view of Discovery as it races toward space, a star-spangled start to Discovery's mission. Discovery's three liquid fuel main engines now throttle back to 67% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Discovery already three and a half miles in altitude, one and a half miles downrange, traveling almost 750 miles an hour. Everything looking good on the bird. 57 seconds into the flight, engines beginning to rev up. Standing by for the throttle up call from Capcom, Steve Frick. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Private, go at throttle up, sounds USF only. The throttle up call acknowledged Commander Steve Lindsay. Expected data hits, it'll clear shortly. Copy. Lindsay joined on the flight deck by pilot chief flight engineer Lisa Nowak and mission specialist Mike Fossum. Mission specialists Pierce Sellers, Stephanie Wilson, and Tomas Ryder of the European Space Agency down on the mid deck. Ryder, six months on the International Space Station. One minute, 47 seconds into the flight, 22 miles in altitude, 18 miles downrange, traveling 2,600 miles an hour. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance now converging. Discovery's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to swivel, aiming the shuttle for its precise target space for main engine cutoff. We should have a good forward link now on s -Bend. And you sound good. Two minutes, 35 seconds into the flight, 39 miles in altitude for Discovery, 49 miles downrange, traveling 3,200 miles an hour. Discovery now flying on the singular power of its three liquid fueling engines, those power plants draining a half a ton of fuel per second from the shuttle's fuel tank. Engine that call from Capcom Steve Frick indicating if we lose a main engine, we can make our transoceanic abort target at Maroon, Spain, but all three main engines are humming along, along with the auxiliary power units and the threat producing fuel cells. Booster officer here in Mission Control confirms three good main engines, Discovery straight as an arrow, speeding toward a date with the International Space Station on Thursday. Three and a half minutes.